I'm going to talk briefly about what vessels carry oxygenated blood. One, the arteries are thick walled vessels that carry blood away from the heart. They have already blend, the blood's already been through the lungs. It's red in color. Now, what makes that red in color is that the oxygen has a great affinity for the hemoglobin, which makes it red. So you have oxyhemoglobin. And that is what's in the arteries, and that's why the arteries look so red in color. The pressure from the heart widens the vessels and also causes that the arterioles can also have that pressure to the capillaries. And so what has happened is that the blood is actually in the arteries. It then goes uh, through uh, to the vessels, through the arterioles, down to the capillaries, where the oxygen and the carbon dioxide is exchanged, and then it comes back up to the right side of the heart. Now, there's one other thing that carries oxygenated blood, and it's kind of confusing if you're not well familiar with it, but there is one vein in the body that carries oxygenated blood, and that's the pulmonary vein, and that's the only one. But arteries is known for the, being thick-walled vessels that carry the oxygenated blood away from the heart.